Hello and welcome. Today I will be making for you my Parmesan cream cheese grits. And for the contest, of course, we're using Philadelphia brand cream cheese, which is the cream. Over here, I already have two and a half cups of chicken stock boiling. I'm going to go ahead and turn that down. And I have three quarters of a cup of quick cooking grits. I'm going to whisk those into my chicken stock so they don't get stuck together and clumpy because there's nothing worse than the clumpy grits. Turn that down just a little bit more because I want them to cook slow because I don't want them to get stuck together and I don't want them to get to a very stiff consistency. I want them to be smooth. Now I'm going to add a pinch of sea salt. A tablespoon of butter. And that is salted butter. About a quarter of a teaspoon of onion powder. In. Now many times people prefer potatoes and rice because they don't think they can be creative with grits, but I think grits make a very good side dish, uh, savory for dinner, buttery for breakfast, or even cheesy for breakfast. My husband likes them buttery, he likes them cheesy with cheddar cheese, we like them with some of that processed cheese, we like them with mozzarella cheese, just the cheesier the better. Okay, now I have over here already about three ounces of my Philadelphia brand cream cheese. I'm going to add to the grits and it's going to get really smooth and creamy as it melts in with the grits. going to give it some texture and it's also going to give it a zesty flavor. And I know people are used to cream cheese and icings for cakes and, and sweetened up for desserts but when you use it in savory dishes it gives it a really good zing. You see how that consistency, that texture changed and it got smooth and even the color changed to make it look white and creamy. So you don't have to use any milk in this at all. My next ingredient is about three quarters of a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Just get that all melted in there. And this is why you want to cook it kind of slow once you pour the grits in, so nothing sticks. You want all of your cheese grits in the bowl. You don't want any left stuck to the pot. I think that looks like creamy, cheesy goodness. Mm -hmm. And turn that off. Right. Put the bricks in that dish. And I have some chopped green onion here that I'm going to garnish with. Parmesan cream cheese grits. I can't wait to dig in. Hope you enjoy.